Hi, Mark Gordon on Friday, February 17th, 2012 with your gold, silver, and spider report. Uh, we're looking right now at the GLD. This is the gold exchange traded fund. And we have been drifting sideways here for the last several weeks, down about a half a percent right now. Uh, near this 21 day moving average, this red line. So we have been getting support from this staying above this. Um, uh, actually got above it here uh, at the first of the year when we came up off of this bottom, this 148.27 bottom that we made in late 2011 and rallied about 15% up uh, uh, at the first of the month here, peaked out here and have been drifting sideways ever since. Um, we are well above the blue line, which is the key 50 day moving average. And uh, we're also getting support here at this red line, the 21 day moving average. Uh, we're above the 100 day, this uh, uh, green dotted line and the 200 day, this black dotted line. So uh, gold looking bullish here. Uh, in my opinion, uh, just kind of biding his time, drifting sideways. Volume's been uh, fairly subdued here. And uh, if we can clear this 171.23 or this overhead top line that I drew, um, then uh, we'll have uh, very little resistance uh, on up. The next stop, of course, would be this uh, gray area here, the Bollinger Band at 171.59 right now, 171.59. So gold uh, having a constructive uh, sort of um, uh, base building period here. Uh, this could be viewed as a cup with a handle and a downward sloping handle is ideal. So clearing again, clearing uh, uh, this overhead resistance would be a very bullish sign for gold and uh, maybe some smooth sailing on up. Now when we go to a weekly chart of the GLD, we can see this cup and the handle here. It's now a three week handle here with some very tight closes. See how those little uh, hash marks are all very, very close together. That is a sign of, uh, of uh, institutional support here on gold. And uh, of course, we're above these key moving averages here. So uh, looking good here. Um, I'm liking the action in the gold. Um, I'm going to scroll down here and show you another thing. Uh, this is the uh, MACD. It's a moving average convergence divergence. And a lot of traders look at this. And the black line is now crossing um, uh, over this uh, blue line, which is a really, really good sign here. Um, it's the first time it's done that uh, since uh, September of last year. It was above it, and then, and then of course, about mid-September, I uh, got below it here and have been right in ever since. So now we are crossing. A lot of, lot of longer-term traders do look at this very bullish sign here. Looking now at a daily chart of silver, this is the SLV, the exchange traded fund. And building a handle here too as well, uh, you can see our big cup and here's our handle. Uh, volume has been below average for the most part here. Uh, so a nice constructive handle here. Uh, we are, um, this chart is a little weaker than the gold of course. Uh, we are below this 200 day moving average, this black dotted line. Uh, in a bull market, you do like to see uh, uh, prices above, uh, especially the 200 day moving average. Um, uh, we also have uh, the moving averages that are stacked below each other. Another sort of bearish sign. Um, we have the um, 100 day below the 200 day and the 50 below the 100. Uh, although the red line, the shorter term 21 day moving average has crossed above the 50 and the 100. Um, we still in the longer term have these uh, moving averages stacked below each other. Now, we can see that the 50 day moving average is pointing up now and also the 100 day is now starting to slope up. So uh, that's, a, that's a sign of strength here. Um, uh, but uh, I'm seeing a, a, a cup with a handle here. Uh, certainly uh, clearing 33.47 would be a bullish sign. And then once prices start getting over the $34 mark here, um, uh, I would say that uh, uh, this chart would be looking a lot better. Um, but right now, silver uh, trying to uh, uh, finish off maybe a cup with a handle base, which would be a great thing to break out of that, especially if we get a little bit of volume on the breakout. So uh, if uh, prices do start to fall, though, uh, we're going to get support down here at the 100 day and at the 50 day moving average. So we do have a lot of good support below us, uh, a little bit of overhead resistance above us. And looking at the weekly chart of the SLV, we can see this cup with a handle. It's uh, almost a double bottom uh, type cup here. Uh, but you can see our, our handle here um, with the tight closes again, uh, like we saw in the gold. So uh, these hash marks are very close together. Uh, a very uh, good sign of support here uh, at these levels. 
Um, scrolling down here to the MACD, uh, we can see that we did get a cross here uh, in uh, January. So the MACD uh, now uh, crossed to the upside, uh, something that has not happened since it briefly got to the upside here in the late summer of 2011. Uh, and of course, uh, uh, in May, crossed under and uh, spent uh, uh, pretty much the whole summer uh, underneath uh, uh, the blue uh, line. So getting above uh, uh, the black line, getting above, above the blue line with the MACD is certainly a bullish sign uh, for uh, long term. But you can see in uh, this uh, weekly chart that we are below uh, this uh, key 40 week moving average. And uh, so we need to get above that. Moving on to stocks now, this is the SPY, um, the uh, S&P 500 uh, exchange traded fund. You can see this really tight rally that we've had um, uh, since December. Prices uh, uh, riding this uh, gray line, the 10 day moving average, pretty much hugging it all the way, playing uh, the uh, upper Bollinger Band here and uh, the uh, 10 day moving average to the downside. So a nice channel still in effect. Um, you know, still going strong. We never know how long these uh, these rallies will last. This is about um, a 9% uh, rally since breaking out of this flag formation here. And then uh, we did make our, our, our longer term bottom here at 106.75 uh, at the beginning of October and have rallied about 29% up off of that low here. Uh, so um, uh, the S&P 500 looking really strong here, uh, especially since the beginning of the year where we have had really no uh, substantial uh, correction. We had a little bit of a dip here, almost uh, getting to the 21 day moving average, not quite. But uh, stocks really, really uh, moving on out. And uh, you can see a very bullish configuration here of the moving averages. Now, something to note is that the 100 day is now crossing the 200 day, this black dotted line. So all the moving averages are stacked above each other. In other words, the uh, longer term moving averages are below the shorter term. So this is a very bullish configuration. Um, and we are, of course, above all the key moving averages here. Now, um, uh, you know, if we get a correction, we will have support down here at the 21 day and the 50 day. And of course, the convergence of the 100 and 200. So lots of support on a pullback. Um, uh, but, uh, you know, the rally continues here. And when we look at a, a weekly chart, we can see this this great breakout, and we can see this tight, tight action uh, that we've had uh, since December here. Um, had a pretty broad weekly uh, move here, where we undercut the previous low and then uh, closed at a high. Um, this is a, a, a very uh, uh, you know bullish sign when you have a correction and then you uh, end up closing at the highs here two tight weekly closes here and now this week we are uh, rallying very strongly this week up 1.34 percent so far uh, here on Friday uh, and of course above all the key moving averages and uh, looking very bullish for stocks we have cleared these uh, you know the 135 level here the 134.15 uh, currently at uh, uh, over one, uh, 136 here so um, uh, you know, the uh, the fear was that we had a rounding top here. Uh, once we started clearing uh, this uh, uh, top formation here, it was off to the races. So despite all the naysayers out there, uh, stocks are rallying very strongly. So just to recap, gold and silver building a nice cup with handle basis here. Uh, if we get a breakout uh, uh, to the upside on volume, uh, they are poised to make some big moves. Uh, stocks are already making a big move here since breaking out of a, uh, a wedging or flag formation here. And uh, we never know how long these rallies will go for. Uh, the best thing to do is to build your portfolio with the strongest stocks breaking out of strong bases on good volume and uh, hold as long as you can until you get definite sell signals. And uh, we help you do that at goldenticker.com. So have a good one. Thank you.